The secret to any good sauce is finding a way to really put your heart and soul into it. This recipe starts as most good recipes do, with garlic. And none of that pre-cut crap. Peel and slice three to four garlic cloves and set those aside for later. Next you want to dice up an onion. Try not to cry too much while you're doing this. This is the least painful part of this recipe. Preheat a pot and add some olive oil along with your garlic and onion. While those are cooking, you can start to prepare some of your other ingredients. You're gonna need two things, some tomato paste and some canned tomatoes. Break out that can opener and get to work like it's 1902. Ooh, be sure to cut yourself opening that can. Nothing a Band-Aid can't fix. After the onions start to brown up a bit, we're gonna add our tomato paste and really get those flavors going. Next up is the can of tomatoes. Once you have all your base ingredients in place and cooking, you can let them sit for a few minutes. At this point, you can add salt, pepper, and any other herbs and spices. A well-kept secret to the perfect tomato sauce really adds some depth to your recipe. Human tears. Watch a sad movie or break out that onion again and in no time you should have a steady stream. Another ingredient to enhance your flavors is hair. From your head or your face, this little addition can bring your sauce to the next level. I like to add my own flavor to my sauce, and the best way to do that is to yank out one of your teeth. I prefer an incisor, but a canine or a molar will do just fine. Oh, we're not done yet. Pick a body part with a considerable amount of flesh. With one stroke of your knife, you have access to one of grandma's secret ingredients, blood. Add a few drops to your sauce to really make dinner time memorable. Everyone likes cheese, but why not change it up this time? Take a cheese grater to the palm of your hand and just go to town. Now you have a beautiful flaky topping for your pasta. And last but not least, we're gonna need to add some meatiness to your sauce. So pick a finger you never use and with one swift chop, your sauce is complete. Serve with pasta and enjoy. You've earned it. Oh, and basil. A little basil can really add to the flavor.